Well, we begin at four with a search for a gunman who killed a 15-year-old girl. She and a man were shot at a party in Chicago's Austin neighborhood. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into what happened. Megan, you're learning that the shooting is centered around a possible club. Right, Jim and Maurice, we're still working to get more information about that building, but we know that it is, or at least was, at one point a motorcycle club. Neighbors tell us they were used to crowds outside, but this was something else completely. I just saw them running, scrambling, you know, running to their cars, just trying to get out of harm's way. It's like, it's kind of like the saddest thing ever to see so many, like, young kids. Neighbors here in the 5800 block of West Augusta tell me they weren't shocked to see a crowd outside the old motorcycle club on the corner. Police say around midnight, a man fired shots into a group of people standing on the sidewalk near Augusta and Mayfield. A source close to the investigation tells me pod camera captured a fight right outside the front door. Several men then left the property and someone started firing from across the street. A 44-year-old Gary man named Liner Tyrone Hawkins was shot in the chest and pronounced dead at Stroger Hospital. A 15-year-old named Ruby Navarrete was shot in the head and also pronounced dead. Her superintendent confirmed to me today that she was a student at Morton East High School. A 39-year-old man also took himself to a hospital in critical condition with a gunshot wound to the leg. Just to see so many young kids just running through the streets, like running for their lives, like, I mean, it's like a, that can be like a traumatizing situation for somebody. The Department of Buildings tells me there's no recent history of building code violations at the address. Superintendent Tim Truesdale told me in a statement, We are saddened to learn of the death of one of our Morton East students. The school has set up grief counseling for students and staff who are in need. We will continue to respect the family's privacy during this difficult time. Neighbors told me the news was difficult to wake up to. It's just another kid just losing their life for no reason. So. So was this an active business? The city's uh, Office of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection and the Alderman's Office tell me they are both looking into that. Stay tuned for more. Live in Austin, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.